Welcome back to a brand new Pokemon vlog on Sneaker Talk TCG. These Pokeball tins. Oh, 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 oh. These tins right here, I have a few of them. I got two Dust Balls, a Premier, an Ultra Ball. I like these balls a lot. Uh, okay, anyways, let's keep going. I like these Pokeballs a lot, and we have six of them we're picking up today. I'm really looking forward to see what packs we get inside. I've seen mixed reviews on these items, so I want to show you guys my personal experience. We're also going downtown to pick up a couple of other items as well. I have a bunch of fake cards. Yes, you heard that right. I have some fake cards. We have a Hidden Fates, uh, not a Lee Trainer box, Hidden Fates Booster Box. If you guys know Hidden Fates, you guys would know Hidden Fates doesn't have Booster Box. So I ordered these from China about two months ago. Fake Pokemon cards back then when I was a kid, they were really obvious to tell. So I want to see if we can, you know, dispel some myths, maybe educate some people in this video. We'll just open up probably one pack of fake Pokemon cards, but we'll do a dedicated fake Pokemon card video in the next week. So make sure you guys subscribe. Also, my girlfriend has a bunch of fake Pokemon cards as well. So we're gonna try and do like a fake Pokemon card collection the next time I see her or the next time I see her, I can grab the cards and do it myself. Jumbo cards. You guys probably have some. I have a bunch. I have a big collection of jumbo cards. They're, they're actually so huge. So I'm also gonna be picking up my massive jumbo card binder today that released for the Galar 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 Pals? No. Galar First Partner Pack. We'll open those in a different video. I'll probably do a dedicated Jumbo Pokemon card video. If we have time to stop by a GameStop, we will. But we're pushing it for time. So let's get going. We almost didn't make it. We had to run as soon as I came out of the subway station, but bag secured. We got the six Pokeball tins, a bunch of Pokemon packs, and of course the mini binder. Now we're gonna stop by real quick the uh, the old condo I was living at downtown for the last year, because that's where my package from China got delivered because it couldn't get delivered to me in time before I moved out. It took about, uh, I wanna say a month to six weeks to arrive. So I ordered these cards a long time ago. It honestly feels so weird to be back in like my old neighborhood. Although I just lived here for about a year, I have like this strong hit of like nostalgia hitting me right now as I'm walking the sidewalks and the streets where I walked for a year every single day for, for a while. So so yeah, it just feels so weird because I don't live here anymore. Um, I really I really wish I didn't move out during the corona hour. This is like the one corona time. This is basically like the one year anniversary of when the lockdown first took place. I had like had my had my housewarming party at the condo and then three days later Toronto went into its very first lockdown, which really really sucks. So uh, yeah anyways enough of me reminiscing. Let's pick up these packages. Alright, so unfortunately the package hasn't yet been delivered, so we're still waiting on the fake Hidden Fates Pokemon booster box. Hopefully that gets delivered in a week or two. It's from China, so the tracking number isn't all that reliable. So our time here downtown is done. Even Center is closed, so we really can't go to GameStop to pick up anything from there. So we'll be going to a different mall tomorrow for my uh, sneaker channel. We'll be vlogging the best sneakers at the mall. So if you guys want to check that vlog out on the main channel, feel free to subscribe to the main channel if you aren't yet already. And we're also going to go to the GameStop there. So with that said, let's head back home and open up these Pokeball tins. All right, we're back at my home and now we have the items to show you guys that we picked up today. So I'm gonna just give you guys a quick look at these items before we actually get into the tins. We have the uh, the first partner collector's binder. This thing right here will give you guys the card cam, POV. This thing is thick, it's chunky, just like, ooh, that chonkachu. That chonkachu right there. And we're also going to open up this right, look how big this thing is. This thing is huge. Next up, we have this, this is what we're all here for, the six Pokeball tins. And yes, I'm wearing the Uniqlo Blue Eyes White Dragon Yu-Gi-Oh collaboration. Picked this bad boy up in Japan a few years ago. So this is what it's like when you buy the six tins. 
all together. Woo! Oh, we got two level balls. Okay. And then there's a little display. So you can prop this up and have it be a cool display. Oh, this is the actual way you can do it. So boom, you can just have it on display. One premier ball, one ultra ball, one great ball, one pokeball, and two level balls. These are really, really cool. There's such cool things to have on display. I have three of them on display over here, actually. You guys can see I got three just vibing right there. But that is what it looks like when you have them in the uh, little thing. Hopefully I can save you guys some money if you were thinking about buying these and don't like the pack selection included. And if you do like the pack selection, then hopefully I can encourage you to go buy them because they are available at a lot of places unless uh, you go to Walmart. Because as you guys saw in yesterday's Pokemon vlog, these are really hard to open. Why are these? Oh, there we go. I think I found the proper area to rip. Yeah, there you go. As you saw in yet, well, I'm not gonna ruin it. If you guys wanna see yesterday's Pokemon vlog, we went to the dollar store, we went to Walmart, and we were underwhelmed. I'll give you that, I'll give you that much of a hint. So here we go. Very first tin from, oh, we got Pikachu's I Choose You uh, episode in the background. All right, so here we go. Very first tin, we have the Premier Ball. Let's see what we get inside. Just opens up like that. And we got three packs. We got a break point. That's a good sign. We got Sun and Moon. This is not what we really want. And we got Fates Collide, which is decent. It's decent. So we got the Mew Coin as well. I really like this Mew Coin real cute so we'll throw that to the side and we'll do this one by one and we'll start off with the front half versus the back half so place your bets in your head which side do you think will have the better packs the front half of the box or the second or the back half of the box so premier ball gives or gave me these packs let's get into the fates collide right now so fates collide not really a set that i'm too excited about i don't want to slice the cards open actually so we'll just do it manually there we go Really haven't, you can't really find Fates Collides anymore. So I kind of don't mind Fates Collide being in this set, but there's no like super, super expensive uh, cards in the set that come to mind right away. So here we go. We got a Chaos Tower Stadium card, Altaria Spirit Link, Team Rocket's Handiwork, Fennekin with a Chikorita in the background. We got Carbink, Deerling, Bronzor, Riolu, Ooh, a Mothim Reverse Rare Hollow, and our rare is a Kingdra EX. Wow, got some awesome first pack magic to start off our opening today. Unfortunately, the centering doesn't look too, too good. Look how thick that left side is compared to that right. Not really a card I would think you would get graded, but just uh, looking at it for the value of centering wise, look how thin that looks compared to the right side. That's crazy. So we'll just put Kingdra to the side right there. Breakpoint is a solid pack. There are really nice cards in Breakpoint. I believe you have the secret rare Gyaradoses, the shiny Gyarados uh, secret rare as well, or shiny. Um, so yeah, there's some good stuff in this set. Looking forward to the Breakpoints. If we're able to get more Breakpoints, I will be a happy trainer. And uh, three of these, I think I messed it up. I think I messed up the pack order. Let's just go. Fighting Fury Belt. Max Potion, Sigilyph, Chikorita playing Portals, Corsola, Corsola, Furofu, Furoseed, Trubbish looking all sad, Fighting Fury Belt Reverse Rare Hollow, Reverse Hollow, and a Trevenon. Trevenon is so cool. It's basically if Dusclops was a, a scary haunted tree. Because look at the eyeball. The eyeball is the same as Dusclops. They look really, really cool. This might be the worst kind of pack you can get from these tins. I haven't seen anyone get Steam Siege or Crimson Invasion from these particular tins. So hopefully we don't have any of those. But Sun and Moon, I believe the best cards in this set are uh, a Rainbow or Hyper Rare Espeon and a Umbreon. So here we go. Brion, Krokorok, Pelipper, Growlithe, Crabrawler, Marini, Rogan, Rogan Rolla, <laughs> Alolan Rattata, Snubble, Reverse Hollow Common, and Oh, well, I messed up the card trick, but check it out. Espeon GX. Nice. I have this in my collection. I did buy the box collections for Sun and Moon many years ago. Uh, I didn't have the Pokemon channel at the time, but I was getting back into Pokemon ever so briefly when Sun and Moon came out. So I bought the Espeon and the Umbreon boxes. This is sick. So we got two really good pulls in a row. 
Espeon GX, two nice pulls. All right, so that was our first tin. Let's do with a Lava Ball from the front half of the uh, the set. And hopefully we don't end up getting, I think Le Leon Hart, uh, I think Leon Hart actually, he did a video for this too. So if you guys wanna see his, I'll leave it linked down below. He got like, I think two Sun and Moons and a Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield, I'll take. I I'll be happy with a Sword and Shield. But Sun and Moon, like I play the game, play the game competitively. And, ooh, looks like we got the same pack selection, I think. Ooh, the coin is over here. Oh, the coin got stuck. Same pack selection, I believe. This time we have the Mew coin again. For packs, we got Breakpoint, Sun and Moon, and Fates Collide. So I wanna say it's average, it's eh. Because the previous Pokeball tins like these, they had Burning Shadows, Evolutions, and I think one random thing, which was really great. I think it was Crimson Invasion. Like those three were killer. They were super, super good packs. Mine is Crimson Invasion, of course. So here we go. This is going to be Fates Collide. So I think it's three to the front. And here we go. I think Sun and Moon was four to the front. That's why I got the energy as the last card. So Mega Catcher, du Duocean, Kangaskhan, Vullaby, Solosis, Cottony, Minchino, Whismer, Coughing, and a Snorlax rare look at him he has a bunch of there's a bunch of people behind him i think oh this is from palatown or not palatown kanto this is him in the way he's clearly blocking the way for everybody to get past him all right break point up next so far the front side is looking real strong right now so this was break point so it's gonna be three to the front and then Sun and Moon is four. I completely forgot Sun and Moon was four. All right, all right. Professor Sycamore. Burst in Balloon. Luxio. Oh, I love this art, man. It's so refreshing seeing a lot of this art. Shinx, because we've been opening so much Shining Fates lately and, and other modern sets. Oh, these, these are modern too, but like these are, I'd say these are modern and the newest ones are ultra modern. And we got a Golduck Break. He's a golden Golduck. Look at that. Sun and Moon, pack number three for the first level ball. I really hope they can do more uh more different like new pokeballs because the this is the very first time they've actually put a level ball as a uh pokeball tin like this all right here we go psychic energy pew q mew q crocorock rainbow energy surskit wingle we got poplio growlith grubbin oh, look at the centering on these cards man what is going on the quality control is not so hot we got a rare candy. That's a good competitive card. And a Sola Glio, Sol, Sol Galio GX. I, I can't pronounce this guy looks so cool. So this is, I believe the, like the header legendary Pokemon for Sun, Pokemon Sun. So that's a solid pull. Centering is actually hot garbage. Not really good centering. You can tell it's just super thin on the right there and then massively thick on the left. So, all right guys, we have some really good luck. Just in the two tins alone, we've pulled some really hot fire so far. So we got one more tin. We got the Pokeball tin for the front row. Moment of truth for the Pokeball. Let's see what packs we get inside for the front half of the... Come on, there we go. You gotta like twist it a little bit. Okay, I don't wanna... I don't want to slam. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Ah, same pack selection as the last two. So we've got the Mew coin once again. Breakpoint, Sun and Moon, and Fates Collide. I think Breakpoint, the value of Breakpoint packs have gone up pretty substantially over the last couple of uh, months. But Fates Collide and Sun and Moon. When I found out that you could like rig the boxes, like the boxes for the booster boxes could be like uh, mapped out. I was really, really turned off by like getting Sun and Moon packs. All right, here we go. Team Skull Grunt to start us off. Poison Barb, Charge a Bug, Dratini, Cutie Fly, Chin Chu, Moralol. Again, look at the centering. Did they rush these? Are these all from the same batch? These have to be from the same batch. Yeah, literally all the cards are cut exactly the same. I messed up the order, but we got a Prima Marina. All right, Fates Collide up next. And then we got the, oh yeah, I, I opened it thinking it was an XY pack. That was Sun and Moon. Next up, we have Fates Collide. So let's do it. It's three to the front or three to the back. Dome Fossil Kabuto. We got a special energy, Sinchino, Seal. We got Whismer, Fennekin, Solosis, Snivy, Devolution Spray or Devolution Spray, and a Mandibuzz. What an ugly looking Pokemon. No offense, but that's an ugly looking bird. XY Breakpoint up next. It's a shame that the Breakpoint or the Break cards weren't that. Oh my gosh, look at that creepy drowsy. That is one freaking creepy drowsy. Do you guys know the story about Hypno? If you don't, it is a scary story. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ruin your night right now. 
But Hypno is basically the Slenderman of Pokemon. Stantler, Cricketune, Drowsy, Spirit Sea, Time Pole, Clefairy with Hypno. I'm about to kidnap the Clefairy right there. Chikorita, Reverse Hollow, Ferrothorn, and a Shiftry. Shiftry is a really cool uh, grass Pokemon. So our very first half of the tins are done. These are the pulls for the for the front half. So solid lineup, I want to say. Not horrible. Ultra Ball for the back half. Here we go. What packs do we have and what coin? Let's find out. Coin, looks like we got a Mew. Packs, we got the same as before. So honestly, guys, if I were to give you my honest opinion on the, the tins so far, we'll just start opening these now. If I were to give you guys my honest opinion on these tins, they're not that great. You can pass on these. You can honestly pass on this new product. You're better off saving your money for battle styles when it comes out or uh, some other kind of tins because these Pokeball tins, they're not the, they're not, they're not the right vibe. <laughs> they're, they're not going to be a really good uh, investment in terms of pack selection. You're better off just getting better packs, newer packs, because this is all old stuff. This is all old stuff and there isn't too much, and Incineroar looks really cool. There isn't too much value to be had. The only reason you'd want to buy these pack or these tins is if you want to display the Pokeball or you are just really, really itching to open up some packs because you have not been able to find any packs. And for those reasons, I completely don't blame you. All right, I think I did the trick wrong. Raticate, Professor Sycamore, Bursting Balloon, Luxio, Skorupi, Staryu, Gibble, C Dot, Chikorita, and Gibble Reverse Hollow. So I put I put him in the front by accident. He was a regular rare. Fates Collide up next. This guy looks like a Digimon, man. And uh, so far, this, fir this first 10 on the back half, not doing too well. And here we go. Dome Fossil Kabuto. Warmadam, never seen that guy before. Special energy, twin energy. We got a Fennekin, Jigglypuff, Riolu, Seal, Larvitar, Riolu again, reverse hollow, and a Delphox hollow rare. Dude, I love I love getting hollows. Let's just zoom in real quick. I love getting hollow rares in these XY pack. They look dope. Time for the great ball. I don't want to like ah, I don't want to damage the packs. No. The packs in these things are so like kind of tight like they look look at these look at the way these packs come out like if you received a pack like this i wouldn't be too thrilled and excited to open up a pack that came looking like this and you can tell when if you're trying to buy a single booster pack you can tell when those packs came out of tins like this because they're going to be all smushed up and that's kind of the scary thing too it's like if say you get a really good pull out of these out of these pokeball tins the chances of them getting like a PSA 10, if, if that's something you're after, uh, getting like high PSA grades or like, you know, grading them, you're not, maybe not gonna get a 10. Don't quote me on that. I'm not an expert, but just in theory, with the way they they squish the packs into here, kind of like asking for not the card, the cards to be not the best condition. Pick a pack. Although these ones have been pretty okay all around. Any lantern rare. XY breakpoint up next. And my card cam is at 5%. We're gonna try and speed through these right now. This is a uh, break point, so three to the front, not four. Slow bro, oh, and the sunset behind him, that looks really nice. That's some beautiful art. We've got Stantler, Swana, Spritzy, Skrulp. The HP looks so thin. I don't know why, it almost looks kind of like bootleg, but the HP looks so thin. We got a uh, Ducklet up here next. We got Shinx, Spritzy, Trevenant, regular rare. Got three to the front for Fates Collide. Helix Fossil, Ammonite, Shuckle, Chaos Tower, Diglett, Riolu. I'm tired of seeing that Riolu. Deerling, Snivy. Ooh, Fennekin Reverse Rare, Reverse Hollow, and a White Curium. Okay, pretty cool looking card. I'll take it. I'll take it. Holo rare. So we're we're getting a trend of holo rares. On to the very final tin, guys. We have the level ball. So so far every single oops, so far every single tin has had the exact same packs. Fates collide. We had breakpoint and sun and moon. Buyer beware. If you don't want those packs, don't buy these tins because those are the packs you will most likely receive. So here we go, last 10 magic, last Pokeball magic. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm looking forward to displaying these. We got a Mew coin and we have Breakpoint, Sun and Moon and Fates Collide. If you guys are enjoying the videos, do me a huge favor, hit that like button down below and comment what you guys think about the packs and these Pokeball tins. Have you guys ever bought the Pokeball tins before? That's gonna be the common question of the day. Do you guys buy these Pokeball tins or do you pass on them? Do you have any on display? I would love to know in the comment section. Pelipper, Ultra Ball, Corsola, Dratini, Cutiefly, Chinchu, Morlull, 
Skarmory, and a Poplio, and a Masquerain. All right, this camera is about to die. We're just gonna use the one camera now. Final two packs of the video, Fates Collide and Breakpoint. Let's see what we can pull. We'll start off with Fates Collide and end off with Breakpoint, but it looks like the better half of these tins were in the front. So if you are gonna buy these Pokeball tins, maybe go for the, the balls, balls in the front. Maybe go for the Pokeball tins that were in the front half if you have the option of choosing, which hopefully you do. All right, we got a Cincino. Let me just, yeah, that's zoomed in as I can get. We got a Cincino. Team Rocket's hand of work. Weezing. Snubble under with his skirt. Just, that's okay. Uh, Deerling. Riolu. Oh, this is a better looking Riolu. This Riolu is cooler. Definitely a cooler looking Riolu. We got Jigglypuff with these two dudes on the side. Jigglypuff looks so derpy. Why does Jigglypuff look so derpy there? We got a Carbink. And their energy reset. And our rare is... A Lugia. Oh man, this would have been so nice as a rare. Last pack, Magic Guys, Breakpoint. And make sure you guys join the Sneaker Talk family by hitting that red button down below. Hello. So you don't miss tomorrow's vlog where we open up the jumbo stuff and go to GameStop. White code card. Love to see it. And this card's upside down. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Delinquent. Like these packs. Just a delinquent. I don't know. Reverse Valley. Sigalith with the portal right there. So he's the one playing with portals. Psyduck. Oh, look at that Psyduck. So cute. Just vibing. Reminiscing. Oh, Phantump right here. We got Slowpoke. <laughs> oh man, this art is actually pretty funny. Slowpoke and we got Shelter and these ducks. Oh, look like, it looks like they're chasing him. I don't know. We got a Shinx looking real cute. We got a Spritzy. Cricket Tots. And our final card of the day is... A upside down Dragagaly? Dra 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 I've never seen this card or Pokemon in my entire life. That was uh, the back half. We got nothing good in nine packs. We got three rare hollows in the nine pack. So it really does look like all the luck was in the first half of the tins. With that said, again, if you made it to the end of the video, comment down below what you guys think about Pokeball tins. Do you buy them? Do you display them? Do you have no interest? I'd love to hear you in the comments. And of course, I'm gonna reply to everybody and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.